Hello and welcome to another Blender Cookie tutorial. This is David Ward and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do some uh, shape key drivers. For example, I'm going to bend a finger and the knuckle will protrude or an elbow, bend the arm and the elbow will protrude, etc. Uh, piece of cake, easy to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you can see that I'm using Blender 2.5 Alpha 1. It has been released uh, a short while ago. Um, so if you haven't gotten it, go ahead and get it. Um, and let's get started. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up, I believe it's this one, yeah. When I last left you, we were animating our little alien guy, as you can see. So, uh, let's get back to normal and take off this animation. So the way we're going to do that is just go over here in our, um, in our nonlinear editor and nonlinear animation editor and or action editor, excuse me, and just get rid of those guys. And you can see it 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 stuck him in a in part of the pose uh, as to one of those actions that was that was loaded in the screen. But uh, piece of cake, easy to to to, to zero it out. Uh, go ahead and turn off your recording, your automatic keyframe placement, and let's pop back into default. And now to, to zero out all his poses, just select one of the bones, hit A, and it'll deselect it, and then hit A again to select everything. And we're going to Alt G, it's going to clear the pose location. We're going to Alt S, we're going to clear scales. Alt R clears rotation. So now we have our little alien guy back to normal. No pose at all. So, okay. Um, one thing let's do, it, it helps um, keep things organized and it, it helps frustration sometimes because maybe you don't want to see the skeleton. So let's, let's do this. Put the skeleton, grab one of the bones, and go to object mode. It's going to turn everything orange. And hit M on your keyboard. And let's just put that down there on that layer right there. And you can see this has a little dot on it now and that indicates that there is something on that layer. So if you hold down shift and click on that, you can see your skeleton again. So let's go ahead and pop that back into pose mode and just deselect everything. And uh, let's go ahead and hide that layer for now because we don't need it. And we'll start making our shape keys. And those are easy to do, easy to do. Um, just grab your model and go over to the object data and scroll down, you'll see shape keys right there. Just hit the little plus sign, and it puts one in here. It's basis. You don't want to change anything on this. This is your basic model. This is the basis for which all the other shape keys will uh, will uh, stem from. So what you got to do is go ahead and create another one. And you see it says key one. So let's go ahead and rename that one. Let's name this uh, elbow dot l. Remember our naming convention dot l means left. And now we'll pop into edit mode. And let's grab the the vertices that make up the elbow, and let's go ahead and turn the translate gimbal on instead of the rotate, and just drag those out some. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, so you pop back into to, uh, object mode, and you, it disappears. You can't see it. Well, to, to, to be able to see it, just uh, over here in value, just run that slider up, and you can see the elbow is kind of popping out there. Let's let's do it a little bit more. Give him some more elbow sharpness there. Okay, and you see we're still at 1.0 in the value. You can still see the sharp elbow sticking out. Okay. Now what we want to do is when he bends his arm, we want that elbow to 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 protrude out. So let's go ahead and turn back on our uh, on the, that that uh, layer right there. Shift and click it. Remember. And uh, let's go ahead and pop back into animation layout. And okay, and it uh, reset our screen over here. Just go back to the object data. Let's go ahead and make that a little smaller up there. Okay, now to add a sh add a, a, a shape key driver, right here in your shape keys, just right click on the number right there. And it'll pop up a little uh, little pop up menu, and we'll go add driver, and you can see this turn purple, which that means it's being controlled by a driver. So 
to tell uh, tell the driver and uh, what to control. Let's make this screen a little bigger. Go over here uh, in the F curve editor. You don't want F curve. You want to click on that and go to drivers. And now hit N on your keyboard. Bring up the properties. And over here under key, click on the little down arrow to uh, to uh, expand that and click on value elbow dot L left elbow and now you can see some some ways to control it the drivers and the type of driver you want to have is going to be an averaged value okay now click on add variable and you see error invalid target channel that's no problem it's not really it's it's not an error because we're going to keep going and it'll it'll disappear once we get uh, some more settings in here so the single property click on that it's going to be transform channel and now it brings up the object or bone. Just click in here, it'll pop up. And just select Alien Skeleton. That's the name of our armature. And then it'll have a place to put a bone. You can see that error went away. So click on the bone. And let's, uh, let's scroll down. What was it? Forearm.l. Okay. And the default um, translation for, for the driver is the location on the x axis. We don't want the location, we want the rotation, X rotation, and we want it to be local space. Okay, so now, if we grab this guy and rotate him, we're not going to because it has the uh, the IK chain on it, so let's undo anything we did there. Let's grab the hand controller there and bend that. See, nothing's happening on that elbow because we need to change some of the settings down here. So just scroll this up a little bit more. And uh, right here under expanded polynomial, you see poly order one, that's fine. And the y equals zero. And I'm not sure exactly what all these numbers mean, but I do know that we need to change this x to negative one. So just click there until you get to negative 1.0. So now, let's make this window a little bigger. Now when we move this hand, uh, elbow doesn't look like it did anything. Let's compare it with this elbow over here since we haven't done anything. So. I see it a little bit sharper there. Okay. Uh, probably need to change some of the settings here. You can look at the value. It's it's only at 2.28. It's only a quarter percent of what it needs to be. So let's go ahead and go back over here, and let's uh, lower this, which you know negative numbers to. Well, actually, I guess we need to higher it some. So let's put it at uh, let's say 0.5. So now when we move this, actually we might need to go the other way. Okay, so now we can see it's at 0.14, which is half of, of what it was. So, let's try that. Let's go, let's just type in negative 2. Now you can see that popped out just a little bit more. And 0.559. You can pl keep playing with this all day. It looks, looks like uh, maybe negative... Uh, negative 5 might uh, be the number that we need. Yes. Oops. Careful you don't move your model. Okay. So now you can see it doesn't look really natural, but you can play with the, uh, the shape keys until it gets just right. Okay. So that's how you do that on the elbow and things like that. You can also apply this technique to say uh, facial muscles things like that uh, bodily muscles let's go ahead and add you know what let's let's go ahead tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause my recorder and I'm going to apply the same thing over here on the left side so it evens out and then we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll have it to where when he raises his arms his back muscle uh, protrudes out a little bit and maybe his shoulder kinda pops up a little bit so um, so I'm gonna do that real quick be right back Okay, and I'm back. Instantaneous for you, but a few minutes for me. Anyways, I uh, got the uh, the elbows working on both hands. You can see that one jutting out. And uh, also notice that uh, negative 2 is actually a better number than 5. So you can see this is bent pretty much at a 90 degree angle. And the value is at 1.0.
And okay, just go ahead and test this guy out too. See that elbow jutting out right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear these poses out. Okay, and let's go ahead and turn off. Let's go back to the default view and turn off the layer with the rig in it and the armature. And let's go ahead and do, like I said, and, and uh, add some add some uh, back muscles here with the, what scientists are calling the latissimus dorsi. Learned that in biology class. Anyways, uh, so let's go pop back up to basis on the shape keys and add a new one. Let's go ahead and add two of them. And we'll call this one uh, lat.l and this one will be lat.r. Okay. So let's grab lat.l and pop into edit view. It's going to be on his left side, so it's going to be over here. So let's grab those muscles right there, and let's grab some of these here. And just move these out. Oops. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Not a whole lot of difference, but you get the idea. And, uh, oops, control one to pop back to the back view. Let's go ahead and grab lat r. Same deal. Grab these guys, move them. At least just a little bit. Grab the right one. There we go. Uh, just a little bit. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, you get both of them. Uh, let's make that right one a little bigger. Okay. Yeah, that's about even. Okay, let's go and run those back all the way down to zero. And uh, let's go ahead and go back to the animation. Let me go ahead and save this guy. Save often, as you've heard me say many times before. Okay, so now, um, one thing I noticed when adding the, the other driver to the, uh, to the guy is that uh, you can't just... You know, the first time we just went, we right clicked on there and we go and we went to add a driver. Well, apparently, I don't know if it's a bug or, or, or just the way it works, but uh, um, in order to get it to work properly, uh, you have to copy the drivers. So let's turn on the skeleton. Um, so the way you do that, you just you click on that first one, right click and go copy driver. And we're going to go here and we're going to right click and go paste driver. And do the same thing on this guy you can see it popped up over here and paste driver I couldn't get it to work with just with adding drivers to all of them I don't know why it looked like the same data set over here but it didn't work so anyways copying does work so we have to tell it we have to change some of the settings over here so let's grab this first one and it's still wanting to go to forearm.l so if we were to move this forearm or the hand it would bend the forearm and it, it would make the elbow stick out but it also run this uh, the uh, the lat muscle to come out. So we don't want that. We only want the lat muscle to come out when the this bone here, which is the upper arm, skeleton upper arm at L, uh, when that's raised up on the... Uh, let's turn on the axis so we can see where we're at here. When it's raised on the... Looks like it's going to be the Z-axis. And then the same thing for the other arm, the Z-axis. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn those axes back off. Okay. And uh, here we go. X rotation, instead of that, it's going to be Z rotation. And it's not going to be forearm, it's going to be upper arm dot L. Okay. And these numbers might change also. So let's grab our arm, our hand, and raise it up. Okay. Well, it's moving. The one we want, but it's also moving the other side, so that could be a problem. Okay. Uh, since I copied from the, the very first one, the same settings apply for the arm bending. So let's go ahead and set this guy up as well. Change this to upper arm dot R, bink, and it's going to be Z rotation. Okay. So now we move this guy. Let's go ahead and view it. Control one to view the back. You can see his lat muscle down here flexing a little bit. 
So it'd be real handy to set up a lot of different muscle groups to move along with. See this one working as well. Okay. So there we go. That's uh, the that's the basics of it. Um, like I said, you can use it for setting up muscular structures, facial structures, uh, muscle structures. Um, pretty much anything that you want to be different when you move like a a, mus a, a bone, like you could even do like a bicep. You know what? Why don't we do that real quick? I just want to see what it looks like. Let's clear out these guys. Pop back here. And I, I don't want to go into default view. I'll just do it for the normal view here. Go to the basis and copy a couple of them. Key five. We'll call this bicep dot uh, L and this one bicep dot R. Okay. Now let's go ahead and edit this one. Normally in a model we might put a few more uh, rings around his upper arm here for just such an occasion. But for right now, let's just grab these two guys right here and bring them out some, and let's gonna scale them down some too. And you know what? Why not? Let's grab these two guys along the top and move those out and scale those down a little bit too. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Eh, not too bad. And let's do this one now. And see what that looks like. Okay, very subtle, but you get the idea yet again. Okay, so let's do the same thing there. Let's just go ahead and copy from from uh, this one. Copy the driver and paste the driver. And you know what? Let's uh, let's undo that. Um, well, I'm not going to undo. I'm going to show you how to just delete one. Um, I want to copy it from a different one that's set up on the forearm because that's the way the forearm. Uh, when the arm bends, we want the bicep to move. So we're going to copy it from the, one of the elbows rather than the lats. So just go over here and click on the one you want to do and remove driver. Boom. Easy as that. So let's go ahead and uh, go back. Let's make, see if we can stretch that out some. No? Okay. Um, okay. Make sure your relative is, is checked, by the way, in case you uncheck it for some reason. Okay. So now we'll go. Uh, copy driver from elbow.l and go down to bicep.l and paste the driver and do the same thing on elbow.r. Copy the driver, paste onto bicep.r. Make sure you're on the number when you right click. Paste. Okay, so now when we bend this hand or bend this arm, we should see the elbow jut out and the bicep flex. So let's do that. There we go. See that? Magical. Anyways, that is how you do that. Hope you learned a few things. Hope I didn't ramble on too much or, or mumble around too much. Sorry about that. Um, and that'll, uh, that'll do it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and, and hopefully this will help you uh, in your quest to become a Blender Master. Thanks for watching, and good night.